What's up guys, in this video we paint the Sinclair mini bike. Alright guys, so uh, our friends at New Air um, sent us out another product that they're kind of trying to push and we are happy to use it because it is literally 107 degrees in Texas right now. The first thing we had to do is just unbox and set up the fan. It's a misting fan so it's going to really help push some water to and cool down the air temperature. So everything pretty much just snaps together on it. <laughs> Get the water on camera. Yeah, you can see that. Actually, before I forget, if you're interested in new air stuff like that fan or the fridge we got, um, just check them out. Sport companies that support us. And now let's get back to the build. So now, time for the Sinclair mini bike build. Basically, what we're doing here is getting it stripped down and ready for paint. So with that being said, first thing that gotta go is that seat, along with stuff like the gas tank. Then we've got to move on to getting it basically down to a bare frame for paint. That includes stuff like the handlebars, the engine, all that's got to go. There's a giant rear bolt that holds on that rear wheel. So it's all got to go along with the front tire, axle, and fenders. Then all we had to do is basically just attack this thing with an angle grinder. It didn't need that much, but we basically, before we painted it up, made it look nice and did a full resto on it. We wanted to make sure we could clean up all the you know, hard to reach places or anywhere that we might not want to paint over again in the future. So once all the quote metal work was done, we just hit it with some 220 and then 400 grit sandpaper. I mean, this frame is pretty much in perfect condition. There's not much action in these shots. That's why we're doing the whole voiceover thing. But once all the sanding was done, all we had to do was just hung it up in the backyard, sprayed it with some gloss black paint so it shined a little bit because we are going to go with patina body panels to match the C10. So let's get this thing painted. All right, so here's the C10 frame all painted up really nice. Just kind of has some like overspray on it from what's painting this thing and put off a ton of overspray. But now the next thing we need to do is basically get that white wall look going. Um, we are going to make a separate video where we do like all the C10 aesthetic stuff, but uh, I figured it because this is a painting video, we'll just include this paint in the white walls now. Kind of what we're doing here is we have paper plate masking off the rim and now I'm putting paint around this edge here. So in order to do the white wall paint, we basically had to mask off the center of the plate, then mask off the outside right next to the tread with just some more tape. Um, it worked out really well. I definitely recommend painter's tape or something that's really easy to rip because masking off both rings took a lot of time. So I figured I'd kind of go in, kind of not super detailed into this, but I thought it was kind of interesting doing this because I've never done this before. So I just got some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to go around this and go for a kind of light scuff. I have a feeling if I go too deep into this and um, make scoring marks, it'll really easily show through. Another thing I'm kind of worried about is there's some cracks in this tire, so I think I'm going to try some filler primer. I'm also pulling out all these little like nubs that kind of stick up, you know, the little things on tires. I don't know what they're called actually. But I'm pulling all those off, getting it nice sand. I'm not going to sand down the numbers or anything, but should turn out pretty good. Don't know how the paint's going to stick. I have a feeling that it might be not the best, but I mean, spray paint, spray paint, so it's not going to be perfect. But I'll get her. Sand it down, and then we can throw her on to, into the kiddie pool. OG kiddie pool go-kart kiddie pool, and paint it up. I'm not used to this wide angle. Oh, let's spray it. All 
Okay. Okay, so I'm midway through white wall painting, and let's take a look from that from far away. Looks pretty good. So now, uh, I just kind of want to redo this, um, all these aluminum forks, because they, they were kind of faded and stuff. All right, guys, so all this paint is on. It's pretty darn good. Not shiny or anything, just kind of, I mean, it's metallic paint, so it should essentially kind of look like aluminum. And yeah, it does. So that's cool. Just throw a couple more coats on these guys. Uh, then I'll just have to flip them over and mask it. So far, paint job's looking pretty good. I think the next thing we're gonna do is unmask that. Okay, so we just got all the silver or aluminum all painted up. So now we're just gonna unmask this. It's looking pretty good if you come closer here. You can see how um, we did a pretty good job masking off. Also masked off these, and I masked off this little bolt right here. So it's not, everything's not all the aluminum color. So cool. Let's undo all this here. So I think honestly, the next thing we're gonna be doing here is, now that everything's all painted, like we do in our normal painting videos, we'll just throw the wheels on and make her a rolling chassis, a rolling mini bike. And it's gonna look really cool. Maybe we put it up next to the C10 and all that. So. <laughs> the grand reveal. Yes, oh, sir. Man, flawless. Mm. It looks pretty good. A little dusty, but we can wipe that off. Alright guys, got another mass tire number two. Aww. Keep it spinning. I'm not very good at this game. It looks pretty good. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, on it, like here, look, see the two of them together? It's pretty darn good. Sweet. And the kitty pool finds a new life. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, guys, so now everything's painted up. I figured I'd just throw the wheels on so we need a quick little mock-up of what it's gonna look like. So let's do it. All right, well, here she is. There's the truck. I think they're gonna get along just fine. It looks so sick. I think the white walls are gonna hold up just fine. Depends. Probably just can't do that much like riding in mud and stuff with them. But it's cool. If they don't hold up, I might look online for some real white wall tires. Just because this does look so good. So. I think that's pretty much gonna conclude the paint video, guys. I mean, kinda got a mock-up, but we have a lot of stuff to do, like adding patina to the, the orange panels and stuff to make it look more like the C10 and add stickers and all that, as long, along with the engine build. So stay tuned for those videos. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you, Go Power Sports. You'll see all the sweet Go Power Sports parts go onto this thing, like a, like a 30 series torque converter, fully built Hemi head engine. Just the works, you know how it goes. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the C10 Builder. Really excited. See you next time.